also like so for other um, parachains that are looking to add support for saturn it's a very fast process um assuming that we have done everything on our sides which is uh of course we need to send an hrmp channel request um, and we need to also um, submit uh pr it's two to three lines of code of our custom xcm configs uh, but assuming all that is there on the other side, so for the team or the uh, the parachain looking to adopt and integrate Saturn, it takes literally five minutes. Um, very, very fast process, very quick. Um, and that is just to, to make the ability to collaborate be nice and fast and, and smooth. And then with all of this, you know, apart from just providing this you know, multi-chain, multi-sig experience, so the ability to um, manage your assets across numerous different accounts on different blockchains to to manage those assets, utilize those assets on dApps on those networks. To be able to do all of that from just one account on top of it, uh, we also add additional features to make the multi-sig itself very powerful. So it comes with dynamic and very fluid uh, membership management. So what that means is the ability to off-board members, on-board members, um, governance is conducted through the multi-sig very similar to how governance is handled on-chain. So like, for example, with Polkadot proposal is made to the chain um, and token holders are able to then vote on the proposal. There's different thresholds that can be set. If they're met, if something passes, then it is executed on chain. Uh, this is executed in the multi-sig and you're able to propose again, the, um, the addition of new members, the removal of members, and you're also able to fine tune things, uh, which is going to be a feature that will be um, kind of doubling down on a bit more in the future, which is what allows you to set custom uh, roles and permissions related to those roles over each individual user. So a very, very powerful solution. Um, the idea here is not only does it allow you to utilize your multi-sig just like uh, you would want to, if let's say if you were organization, you have an organization, you have many different uh, departments, many different um, employees or members in those departments, which have specific permissions uh, pertaining to what it, their responsibilities are and us providing a protocol that allows them to build on top of that and essentially use Saturn to navigate as an organization across the entirety of the Paraverse without needing to set up different multi-sigs, fracturing, breaking apart that experience, and uh, yeah, just kind of bring some harmony to the mix. So with all that, I feel like I've rambled a good bit about the, the pain points of multi-sigs and going on a good bit about what makes uh, Saturn so awesome. So with that, I'm gonna turn things over to Gabe and he actually has a demo that he uh, he pre-recorded and he'll be providing commentary for explaining and it's going to be showcasing some very very early alpha uh i will say so you're gonna see a ui this is not our ui design um this is just a prototype we just want to have an interface so we can see what's going on so we can everything uh <clears throat> make sure everything works interact with it nicely but yeah just disclaimer there the design you see now will be completely different from what you see coming up in the future but Nonetheless, the tech that is achieved and what's done is, it's really powerful. So uh, I'm gonna shut up and uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go ahead, go to the next slide and I'm gonna give it to Gabe. So before you, before you actually play it, but uh, oh. let me um, explain what's going on. So people have a, have a, a sense of what's happening. Uh, this is, a, this is a, a prototype UI we built that uh, acts as both a, a DAP and a wallet. It's a hybrid. It, um, it serves as a DAP for you to actually use uh, the multi-sig uh, for you to do operations on it, but it also serves as a wallet for the multi-sig itself. And uh, it uses Wallet Connect, which is a uh, Wallet Connect V2, which is pretty new uh, into the Polkadot ecosystem uh, to actually connect this DAP into other DAPs as the wallet that, uh, that, uh, that's connected to them. So you see in this demo, you can, you can play that, yeah. Uh, you see in this demo, I'm going to uh, I'm going to connect to my personal multisig, and then I'll use Wallet Connect to connect to our um, to our staking DAP for uh, for Tinkernet. Then I'll paste that code there. Connect session. There it is, and then select the account in the DAP, and then now that the session between the between the the multisig UI and the DAP is established. And uh, I'm going to uh, I'm going to claim my rewards, both propose that and also connect to another account and then vote on it. I'm first going to show uh, an early version of the assets page. I'm going to connect my my actual user account, which is a member of this multisig, and then I'm going to just click the claim rewards button, which will propose that call in the multisig. Easy as that. You just 
do uh, stuff as you would with a normal uh, user account, but then it gets sent to the, the um, multi-sig wallet. And then clicking propose, it actually opens the my, my, my user wallet. So I'm proposing that call to the multi-sig. And then it's gonna show Polkadot.js, that happened, it was proposed. And now I'm going to uh, go back to the to the, the UI to demonstrate voting on it. I'm going to connect to another account, which has uh, which is a member of the multisig, and that multisig is set to, um, to only need two votes. So as soon as I vote with that other account, it's going to execute. There we go. So that's there's a call. Uh, it, we're going to actually uh, work on a better way to show calls, but just for now, I just dumped the actual call data on that on that page in the queue that has all the open calls. And I'm going to change my account. Refresh real quick. And then I'm going to vote A. Which will then open my wallet again as the other member to uh, to send a call that will vote on this proposal in uh, in Tinkernet. And you can see there's also I'm going to show you later a bit, but there's also a best list call in there. But yeah, it's going to now once the block rolls over. There we go. Multi sig executed, and then if I go back to the DAP, unclaimed errors uh, zero. And I claim the 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 rewards. So the the call was actually executed, and this is pretty simple because it's happening in uh, it's happening in Tinkernet itself. But as you can see, a little bit more alpha by that other one that I just opened. It can it can be done through XCM very easily, and for the end user, the experience would be very seamless. You wouldn't even. You, you, I mean, you would know, but if you were to just show this to someone, to someone else, someone that doesn't understand Saturn but knows multi six, they would think this is actually pre this is actually multiple multi six present in, in all those networks. But no, these are all in our network, and then using XCM, they are transacting in other networks while maintaining the same exact account. So uh, they can they can actually do anything that user accounts can because to the other chains. They they appear as if they were users transacting through uh, XCM, but through this UI, you actually be able to do all those operations in all those networks seamlessly. Yeah, so it's really like really really powerful. Um, and like the main thing here is while we showed a, a UI like a little demonstration, um, they're using Saturn to just interact with an application that's on Tinkernet. Um, as you can see there with the, the call to Basilisk, um, and we now have uh, actually everything set up with Picasso as well. Um, so currently, individuals can actually utilize Saturn to manage and navigate their assets, or manage their assets, navigate across uh, Basilisk, navigate across Picasso, uh, and through this one UI, through this one multi-sig. Um, and like Gabe said, you know, someone would typically assume that if you're using this on all these different networks that Oh, this is like a like a like a multi-sig aggregator uh, of sorts. Um, but really, it's just it's your one multi-sig which has an account on all of those networks, and you just manage it through this one entry point, so to speak. Um, as of today, we have, and like I just mentioned, we have everything good to go set up with Basilisk, um, with Picasso. So Basilisk, of course, is uh, the home where um, we did our first LVP. Picasso bringing IBC within the ecosystem, allowing us to. Um, kind of uh, bring this this feature over to assets from the Cosmos ecosystem as well. Uh, we are nearly there, um, looking towards moving forward to the final steps to have Saturn integrated with um, Kala, uh, or Kala, which is Fala Networks, um, Canary, or not Canary, but uh, their Kusama chain, uh, Bifrost on Kusama, and then of course the Kusama Relay itself. Um, just waiting. We have one one approval, waiting for two more, and then we'll be good to go with Kusama. And we immediately next have our sights on Moon River, Shiden, Kintsugi. Um, very, very interested in bringing Saturn to those chains. And a very important thing is we actually just the other day, uh, earlier 
this week. Yeah, was it just last Monday? All the days kind of blend together, to be honest. Um, <laughs> I think it was last Monday that we, uh, I think it was Monday or Tuesday. Ooh, anyway, we announced the Saturn SDK. We, we announced or released the Saturn SDK. Um, and so with this, projects such as Talisman, Nova Wallet, SubWallet, and PokeSafe are now all able to tap into Saturn very easily and integrate it into their UIs if they if they uh, so choose to do so. Um, so with this, then, while well, we gave our little uh, our you know UI prototype demonstration, this would using the SDK allow them to uh, directly you know let's say you open up a you open up your ecosystem your favorite ecosystem wallet and then through that wallet whether it be um, on you know in uh, in your browser or through an extension or just uh, directly like, you know, from, from your mobile phone, being able to set up your Saturn multi-sig, your multi-sig accounts and using that through the same wallet that you already know and love. Um, so no need to have this kind of, even there, this fractured experience where you now, you must have all of these different applications if you want to use this. Um, if you're a, a one type of wallet person and that's your preference, then as long as they, uh, they integrate into pride support, then that's the only wallet you'll ever need. Uh, so just something that we're very excited for because again, Saturn is something that is powered by um, powered by right now Tinkernet and soon to be Invarch on the Polkadot relay. Uh, while it's something that's powered by our blockchain, it's something that we built really truly to service the entire ecosystem. Um, I mean, kind of in the in the spirit of a common good where we want to provide this key piece of infrastructure for the ecosystem that doesn't just um, help to elevate the user experience across the board, but also just helps to bring value to all of those different parachains. So um, for one, apart from just, you know, them being able to tap in and then just like that, having the best multi-sig experience in the industry and providing that to their users, but they also bring a world of possibilities to their developers as well. Um, so if someone is building, for example, this is Polkadot Defiance, and if someone is building a DeFi application, um, whether this be on Chiden or be on Astar or be on Moonbeam um, or wherever it may be, be could be anywhere, um, they will be able to directly integrate uh, Saturn into their DAP if they wanted to. And this could look uh, like just providing a better non-custodial service, uh, asset custody service um, for their users, whether it's a VC or an institution, or they want to implement a type, a type of like a multi-state controlled vault system directly in their applications, they can do that as well. Uh, but the, the point here is that with Saturn, we are now able to one, provide what I should, what I believe truly to be the best multi-state solution in the entire industry, something that's provided here, it's secured by Polkadot and something that we can really bring to users and crush any narrative uh, around a lack of custody solutions. And we can provide this in a non-custodial way. So allowing users to retain um, control over their assets, uh, no dependency on any centralized entity, and also building this out in a way to where it's very easy to adopt across the ecosystem, uh, hopefully to become a standard, a multi-sig standard across the ecosystem as we believe it's very important to achieve this because um, as an ecosystem, if we can provide the best user experience possible, then that's just one really strong way to help bring more users over. And the unique thing about Saturn is it's not something that you could easily, um, if at all, be able to replicate or mirror in other ecosystems. In some ecosystems it's possible, in others it might be possible, but it's gonna take a lot of work. Whereas here, it's here, it's now, it's powered by XCM. Um, and it is one of, I think one of the first um, application or products that we see being built out purely on the premise of XCM. But with that, um, I don't know how we are on time, but we tried to be a bit uh, conscious here. So we have, uh, that, that's kind of it. Wrap. Um, yeah, thank you. I was just going to say, you guys did a fantastic job. Thank you so much for being here and explaining this. You largely answered every single question that came up in the audience already. But I know that Polkadot Vault has been all the rage right now, and that was the one you did mention. I'd assume that Saturn is going to work with the Polkadot Vault? Yes. Uh, maybe perhaps not directly through our UI, but uh, our UI is, as a, as a member of the multisigs, you connect with other wallets. And we know the Talisman sub-wallet and then uh, Nova, Nova 2 using Wallet Connect, uh, they do support uh, Polkadot Vault. So using those as the proxy, you can use Polkadot Vault. Okay. I kind of figured that'd be the case because everybody was asking about the different wallets, but you guys already covered yeah. that. So thank you guys for being here. Uh, 